Let's take a look at in the texture editor. The first thing we notice right off the bat when opening the texture editor is the status bar at the bottom left of the interface. Depending on which pixel I put my cursor on, it will display the U and V coordinates, the pixel coordinates, and the RGBA values of that pixel. Outside of the image, the pixel and the RGBA fields are wrapped. Of course, you can hide that status bar through the preferences. Since we are in the preferences, let's take a look at the dim image option which controls the brightness of the image in the texture editor. You can then toggle the dim value by pressing on the associated button in the texture editor. Other preferences are the texture editor component colors which can be modified such as the UV mesh, the grid color, etc. The 3D views now update while transforming the UVs in the texture editor. Before, it would only do so when releasing the mouse button. You can now invert your UV selection by using the Control shift i shortcut keys. This will only affect the visible UVs. Two new edit boxes are now available and allow the user to enter U and V positions for the selected sample points. When the set button, which is on the right side of the edit boxes, is deactivated, the edit values are applied to the center of geometry of the UVs when more than one UV is selected. When the set button is activated, the edit values are applied to individual UVs. Users can now define their pivot point for scaling and rotating sample points in the texture editor. The shortcut key to activate and set the pivot point is the period key. You can now turn on snapping from the menu or use a control key. The snapping function now takes into consideration the closest sample point to the mouse position instead of the old behavior which would snap the center of geometry of the selected sample points. With the new and improved Match UVW tool, not only can you snap to the selected sample points together as before, but you can now snap the selected points to unselected points. You can also snap selected points to grid location. By default, the grid resolution of the Match UVW operator is set to the texture editor grid setting. You can also snap the selected points to the closest pixel corner. To see this, we'll take the image interpolation off. We'll also set the OGL resolution to a value equal or higher than the resolution of the image. Now we can zoom in and snap the points. Finally, there is a toggle that allows us to turn off the tolerance, in which case the closest target is always chosen regardless of the distance.